Live from downtown Detroit, home of WDIV and Click on Detroit, Local 4 News at 11 starts now. Customs and Border Patrol unveiling a new facial recognition technology today to speed up international arrivals and check-ins. But at what cost is this convenience? But we're going to begin tonight with a high school employee now facing sex crimes against a student. Ibrahim al jahim an employee with Hamtramck's Oakland International Academy, is charged with criminal sexual conduct. Sean Lay is live in Hamtramck tonight with the disturbing allegations. Sean, good evening. Let's get to the details, Kimberly, that we are finding out here uh, this evening. The victim, an 18-year-old boy, he's a special needs student here at the school. He tells school officials and police he was taken out of school, placed in a car right outside here in Hamtramck, and forced to perform sex acts inside that car. The person facing charges, extremely well-known here in Hamtramck and all across Metro Detroit. Come on, everyone. Bernie Sanders will be here in one hour. Ibrahim Al Jahim is out on bond, charged with the highest level of criminal sexual conduct in the first degree. That did not stop him from rallying with Senator Bernie Sanders today with striking UAW workers. In fact, Al Jahim is a mover and shaker in local politics, volunteering for the Hillary Clinton campaign, pictured with Governor Whitmer, Mayor Duggan, all of whom have nothing to do with the incredibly disturbing allegations he's now facing. Al Jahim was even a chaplain for Sheriff Benny Napoleon. Stunned. Uh, I mean, the allegations are extremely serious. Al Jahim has been let go from his volunteer role with the sheriff's office after Hamtramck police arrested him last week. Sheriff Napoleon says the allegations against Al Jahim are so shocking he can't go into detail. I would hope against hope that he did not do what he's been accused of doing. Al Jahim also works as a community liaison officer at Hamtramck's Oakland International Academy. Sources tell Local 4 an 18-year-old student with special needs alerted school officials that he was in Al Jahim's car outside the school and was allegedly forced to perform sex acts. Tonight, his wife says Al Jahim did not tell her why he was arrested. Did he tell you what happened? No. Like... Well, how about I say we don't talk? Back here live in Hamtramck tonight, Al Jahim arraigned over the weekend on two charges of criminal sexual conduct in the first degree. However, he was given a bond of $10,000, 10%. So he was out tonight. We reached out to him. We were told we were going to hear his side of all this tonight, but he did not reach back out to us tonight. Uh, Kim and Devin, back to you. Really disturbing allegations there, Sean. And I know it's late, but anything from the school tonight? Well, we've been trying all day long from early in the morning throughout the night, uh, afternoon and night. Not a word from the school, not returning any calls. We're also hearing from family members uh, whose children go to the schools here, go, go to the school, and they are telling us they were not told of these disturbing allegations. They clearly want to know more. Yeah, and, and more to come, no doubt. Okay, Sean, thanks. Devin. Tonight, NBC News is reporting a majority of House members now support some type of impeachment action against President Trump. 218 Democratic members and one independent are now on record of supporting the impeachment inquiry against the president. That milestone number comes just hours after the president publicly addressed the allegations for the first time since the inquiry was announced. It's all a hoax, folks. It's all a big hoax. The so-called whistleblower, the one that didn't have any first class or first rate or uh, second tier information from what I understand. More on that whistleblower in a moment. First, all seven of Michigan's House Democrats support the impeachment inquiry. That includes Congressman Dan Kildee, who talked with us tonight and says it's time to take action. This last episode really was a game changer. It's a game changer for me in the sense that my doubts have been erased. It's not just about an inquiry, but I think the president has clearly now admitted to offenses which should subject him to impeachment. Meanwhile, back to the whistleblower, the one who filed the complaint against President Trump has now tentatively agreed to testify, not expected to appear before Congress until uh, at least next week. However, we may see the whistleblower complaint tomorrow. CNN reporting tonight that it has now already been declassified. The UAW and GM took a big step forward today toward an agreement. Committees on both sides sent their work 
to their top bargainers. It means most of the minor issues are likely to be resolved and both sides are close to finishing. They'll go to work on wages, temporary workers, and other contentious issues. The UAW says it presented material to GM and is now waiting on a response. The same technology that led to months of heated debate here in Detroit has now been installed at Metro Airport. Jason Colthorpe live at DTW tonight with uh, more on new facial recognition technology and what it's being used for. Jason. And this boils down to one word, Devin, convenience. Uh, this is meant to make your international check-in and arrival process much quicker. Just a look around Metro Airport and you'll see signs of newer technology. The facial comparison tech is called Simplified Arrival and it lights up check-in counters across the McNamara terminal. It's expected to save you several minutes while you check in. Basically what they do is they take your picture here that matches to your passport while they're also at the same time clearing you through the Department of Homeland Security. But it really helps with people arriving here at Detroit Metro. The technology helps them get cleared faster, especially people coming from countries with complicated visas and that solves another problem, them missing their connecting flights. And sometimes it could be quite lengthy. And getting through security and customs more quickly okay, five. So great. Oh, is yeah. music to travelers' ears. Anything that's going to make it um, expedite the process of getting through security and anything that's going to help us be safe. The system deletes your picture after 12 hours. And for those concerned about Big Brother watching, you can always opt not to use this process. Just about anywhere you walk, there's a security camera, even like um, police departments use it to catch people going through red lights, and a lot of times that helps solve crime anyway. I feel that if you don't have anything to hide, then what's the problem? As you might expect, the ACLU leading the charge on the criticism of this uh, new technology and basically saying it's a violation of privacy that's going to keep creeping into your everyday life. It also says it's unnecessary and therefore a waste of taxpayer dollars. At Metro Airport tonight, Jason Colthorpe, Local 4. Jason. The Detroit Youth Choir getting another big surprise tonight, and it came after performing inside Michigan Central Station in Corktown. Tim Pamplin captured it all with a night cam. Tim? The Detroit Youth Choir took us to church tonight inside the old Michigan Central Station. They thought it was just an opportunity to rehearse in a really cool building. There were friends and family in the crowd, but also there was this man, Jim Vella, kind of a big deal at the Ford Motor Car Company. He's a president of the Ford Fund. Now I know what it's going to be like when I go to heaven and I hear the angels sing. <laughs> The choir was then guided outside of the old train station. Mr. White, where is he? Ready for surprise number one. So we heard that you might need some wheels. <laughs> and with that, a brand spanking new Ford Transit van, complete <laughs> with purple bow. And then the second surprise. How many of you guys want to go to college? Me. We got a thousand dollar scholarship for each of you. Everybody gets a check. That's for scene in Corktown tonight. With the night cam, Tim Pamplin, local four. Nice paint job too. The blessings just keep the, coming. The purple hits just that's, keep coming. Isn't right. it really great?